Hey boys and girls, welcome to our science experiment. We are going to be experimenting with sink and float. All those cute little toys you see on the table are a part of our experiment. Before we can begin just dunking things into water, we need to talk about molecules and density. Objects are made up of very tiny molecules. The molecules are so little, they can only be seen under a microscope. Molecules can be packed close together, kind of like a rock, or spread out thin, like in bubble wrap. The positioning of molecules affects the density of an object. Now you're thinking, Miss Janae, what are you talking about density? What is that, lady? Well, density plays a part in why some things float and some things sink. Items that are packed tight are more dense than those items that have loosely spread out molecules. Objects that are more dense than water sink. And objects that are less dense than water float. So today I have with me my son, Destin, who's going to be my helper. He's going to be helping me place the items into the water and also helping me to guess whether it's going to sink or whether it's going to float. So, boys and girls, are you ready? All right, let's do this. All right, now let's look at our cute little items we have here. We have a bubble wand. We have a carabiner, an apple, a baby carrot, a green letter C, a cow, a fork, a wooden block, and a Duplo Lego. And there is our container of water. So we're gonna begin with the cow. Destin, can you pick up the cow, please? All right, now, do you think the cow will sink or will the cow float? I think it will sink. All right, go try. We're gonna put the cow in the water. What happened with the cow? Floating. It's floating. Hmm. The cow seems to be less dense than the water. Okay, so Destin has a bubble wand. He's going to place it in the water. And he said he thinks it's going to sink. Let's see if he's right. Float. It's floated too. Now Destin is going to try the apple. Destin, can you pick up the apple? Do you think it's going to sink or float? I think it's going to float. Okay, put the apple in the water. It's... it's definitely floating in there, boys and girls. So our apple has floated. All right, now let's try our Duplo Lego. Destin, can you grab the yellow Lego, please? Now, will this object sink or will it float? I think it will sink. Think it'll sink? All right, drop it in the water, see what happens. And what happened to the Lego? It's floating. It's floating too. Now the Lego's molecules are packed loosely and it's also more porous, so it floats. The fork sunk. It sunk to the bottom. Whoa. Now, the molecules in the fork are packed very close together, and it's also not hollow, so therefore, the fork is going to sink. It didn't displace a whole bunch of water. It just nope. sunk right into the bottom. Let her see, sink or will it float? Dun, dun, dun. It float. Doesn't think it's going to float. And it's floated. Are these molecules packed super tight? Or are they packed loose? Drop it in, Destin. And what happened? Dun, 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 dun. It definitely floated, boys and girls. The wooden block floated. So the wooden block is less dense than the water. Let's try our vegetable. Destin, grab that carrot. Now, boys and girls, before we begin, we know for sure that that apple floated. Do you think the carrot's going to float like the apple, or is it going to meet its doom and sink? Dun, dun, dun. I think it's going to sink. 
Let's rub it in. What's gonna happen? <gasps> it sunk. The carrot sunk. The carrot sunk. Awesome. Now our fruit floated, but our vegetable sunk. Hmm, that's interesting. So Destin has a carabiner in his hand. The carabiner is made out of the same material that the fork is. The fork sunk. We knew the fork sunk. What do you think is going to happen to the carabiner? Will it sink or will it float, boys and girls? Hmm. I think it will sink. Let's rub it in. Yes. It sunk. What? The carabiner sunk. Dun, dun, dun. So we have separated our items by sink and float. Let's count them. So this is our float pile. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six items floated. Okay. So let's come here and write the number six. We have cow, bubble wand, apple, Lego, letter C, and wooden block. Now I'm going to write the number six here. And I'm going to put it inside of a box. Let's count the items that sunk. One, two, three. Three. I'm gonna go back to our board. We have fork, car carrot, and carabiner. I'm going to write the number three here and put it in a box. All right, now let's look at these two numbers. Six items floated and three items sunk. Now, which category has more, the six or the three? You're right, the six, dun, 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 dun. Float won, float was the ultimate winner because six items floated and only three sunk. To sum it up, boys and girls, we had six items that were less dense than water, which is the reason why they floated. Those items had loosely packed molecules and they did not displace a whole bunch of water which means they were able to float. The items that sunk were more dense than the water. So in essence, they were heavier than the water and they displaced more of the water and they fell to the bottom of the bucket.